my name is Brian Serigo. I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Hive Hotel Uganda. We own the hotel, but we also have an events company that's called Hive Events Uganda Limited that does a number of things, a number of events. Well, our, our core business is events. We're into the hospitality and events world. So we came and looked for, we looked for a location that has a beautiful lake view, that has good vibes. So we created it from scratch. So from what we do, we felt we should, we should harbor and do something in, that fits everything in what we do. That's why we created Hive Hotel that has a number of things like uh, a bar, a terrace lounge, uh, accommodation with rooms, over 20 rooms. We have a kitchen, we have a kitchen lounge. We have uh, a spa and massage. We have a unisex saloon. And we have a pharmacy and a car wash. So if you had to think through, all these things are interconnected in one way or the other. So once you're at the terrace, you're able to eat good food, you have pizza, you have chicken, goat, and everything. I'm called Dimutoni Dian. I'm a receptionist at High Hotel. I feel so good, comfortable, because the management is very good. They're all coming. And I've learned many things here, because at first I was a receptionist, but ever since I came here, I've learned many things. Hi, my name is Kenneth At times you may find yourself lonely. Don't let your mind be a devil's workshop. Hive Hotels got you covered. It's located in Buziga opposite Kaboja International School, 7 kilometers from Kampala. The name of the company, actually it came up from our event company. Our event company is called Hive Event. We wanted it to be called Events Hive, like a beehive, where you find every single thing in that one hive, yeah? But unfortunately, because of registration issues, we ended up calling it Hive Event. But it was meant to be called Events Hive, where when you have an event or when you have a hotel, everything that you want will be found at the hotel. So we came up with the name Hive. It's a hive of everything. We work in Nyege uh, Nyege, Rust and Rhyme, Blankets and Wines, different weddings, Kwanjulas, and a number of events. We have, host we have hosted a magnitude of, of artists like Neo, Morgan Heritage, Chris Martin, uh, Shaggy. Yeah, to name it all. So that's where it came from. From the event angle, we have traveled in so many places. And in events, events are in one way or the other tagged on to hotels. So we've gone to these beautiful hotels where we sleep, or where they hold events. So from these events, from this, from the different locations we have been to, it's what inspired us to do this hotel. Like we've been to Swaziland for the bushfire, we've been to Cape Town at the waterfront, which has beautiful waters that oversee the lake. We have been Turkey, of course Dubai, Abu Dhabi that oversees the lake. Uh, we have been to UK, United Kingdom where. So that inspiration alone is in one way or the other is connected to the event angle. The hotel is connected to the event angle. That's why you stay. That's, that's a place that holds a, a couple of events. So it started with this and God willing we shall grow and become a bigger enterprise. The culture is a cross-functional culture. It's a dynamic culture that, that welcomes anyone and everyone from all walks of life, yeah? Uh, we have anyone, we don't judge. We, 
We are free spirited. We love everyone and everyone. Our number one motto is love your neighbors, you love yourself. So we love everyone. So we're open to all kinds of culture, all walks of life. Come to this hotel. Man, it speaks for itself. First of all, we built a, a big hotel with, with these vibes. Yeah, you, you look at the vibes. Look at the lake, it's already relaxing. So when you come up, you're already relaxed by looking at the lake, at the terrace. First of all, we'd recommend someone because of the vibes. We have beautiful sights and sounds. We have beautiful night themes. We have very good service, exceptional service. We have very good customer service. We have very good quality foods. We have very good quality drinks, which are served in the perfect serve. We have all kinds of drinks. We have a fully stocked up bar. We have very good clean toilets. We have a, a clean accommodation, white sheets. We have a beautiful hotel. We have beautiful lights. Our spa is one to live for when you're in the spa. It's like we're closed out from this world. We have very good food. In this, in Uganda, I think our pizza is one of like the best pizzas in here. We have very good food. We have very good goat meat. We have international chefs, yeah. We have very good. We have a very good saloon with very good barbers. If you want to do your nails for the ladies, extremely very good. And we have a nails care who are trained from France. We have a very good car wash. Yeah, we have the facilities. We're situated, especially the location. It's at the it's at the place in Uganda which where you just go and wine. It's away from the city. It's peace and quiet. Then in the night maybe we pump it up a bit. We have very good DJs. We have, it's like a sports bar if you want to watch Formula One or, or, uh, or football, you can watch on the screens. We have different bands coming in and playing. We have different thin lines, we have different influencers. We have, we have people from all walks of, of, of the world. Just like you mentioned, what's our culture like? We have collected all these different people into one place. We're a masterpiece. Chef Chris from High Hotel, Ziga. Uh, we want to welcome you in our hotel and uh, to present you what we do in our hotel. We have different dishes. We have continental dishes, Italian dishes, and uh, sometimes we make uh, local dishes. We have different services. You can come in our hotel. We we'll give good service. We do catering. Uh, uh, we do training for those one who want training like students, we please you to come and enjoy our services because we have different things, different menu, different dishes. Welcome, thank you. One of the biggest challenges that we go through because of the place we are situated, um, we can only play loud music up to a certain time, yeah, especially on a weekday. There are, kind, there are times when people come when they want high vibes, but you cannot play that loud music, especially for the terrace. And then also for the nature of the business, it's a hotel, so after a particular time, we need to slow down and cut down on the music. That's one of the challenges. The other challenge was, of course, the economy is not doing so well, so we, the spending power for most of the people is quite low, but we need to navigate around the entire economy and the systems and the economies of scale. So that's a big challenge. Then. Of course, the overheads, there are some overheads which are constant, like electricity and power, whether people come or not, it's a constant cost, so it's, it's, it's a bit of a challenge. But other than that, we give the good all the glory to God. One my advice is, you need to get the niche, you need to try and do what many other people don't do. That's one. But the most important one, one is that you need to do something that you love. Professionally, I, I studied law. I'm a lawyer by profession. I did LDC, but that's not where my passion was. So you need to go into something that you love. For example, you're in production and films. Not that you can't do other things, but that's where probably your passion is. Oh, so I'd encourage any young person to go and do something there. They are, they are passionate about. If I'm a DJ, there are so many good DJs. There's DJ Casper, there's DJ Sese. DJ Sese studied in, in UK. I think he studied engineering, but he's following his passion of music. Yes, 
There's maybe Julius of Swans. His passion was in music and events. So the most important thing now for any young person is to follow and do whatever you're passionate about. If you're a musician, follow up with your talent. If you're a football player, go on with your talent. One of the days where our parents used to tell us, man, I need my son to be a lawyer. I need my son to be an engineer. I need my son to be. There are many successful people in, di in the different professions that they do. There are mixologists, there are people who do cocktails. It's a high-end mixologist. There are chefs who you watch on uh, Chef, uh, Master Chef, I think Australia, even in Uganda. So for any, other, for any young person, my biggest advice would be for you to follow your passion, to do what you love to do. So I'm into events, my passion is in events, and I believe my calling is in events, so you should follow what you, lo what you love doing.